I have got so many drips on the table. I'm not doing a dip though because I don't have success with dips. I'm just covering my canvas with paint because I used so much paint on that big one. So I'm just basically <laughs> taking this paint and using it for a base coat. So there, there's my base. And now I can do me a dirty pour and I'm going to start with a little white. And I'm going to use all my colors and I'm going to bring back in. This is Soho Urban Artist Rose Matter. And I have a green that I mix that is Master's Touch Light Olive Green and Chrome Oxide Green. So those two colors I did not use in the, the last pour. So I'm just going to have fun with this one. I'm not trying to make it match anything or go with anything. Use some green. We'll use what's left of the metallic gold. A little more gold. And this primary red. Do a little bit more turquoise. Oh, and I got vermilion here too. I forgot about it. And more green. Alcohol to release the air. So nothing spectacular about that, right? <laughs> Let me see if I can zoom you in a little closer. Nothing really that great because the colors kind of all blended together. So I'm curious if I were to take black, since I'm just plain now. Wipe it off. Swipe it that way. Swipe it this way. This is kind of neat the way it is. I'm wondering if I just scrape it again. Maybe with some white. So this is very bizarre looking. Um, but let's try the white over the black. Just be creative. Experiment. So it kind of looks otherworldly. So I'm just going to, because it is different, I'm just going to Keep playing with it, see what comes up. I might should have left it alone. That one's really weird. I'm not super crazy about that. Well, it's different. Let's put it that way. So there's one. While I've got my colors, I'm going to do another one. So I'm, it's just a big mud puddle here. That's the good part about having canvases on push pins. Okay, let me try one that is more of a gradient pour. So let's say we'll start with the Payne's Gray, which is the darkest.
And then I'm going to do the, the aqua color, a little white, the green, the white again, the yellow ochre. And I'm going to put some cadmium yellow on top of that. And it's in my squeeze bottle and it's got silicone in it, but I'm going to put some cadmium yellow just for a brighter color because I want these colors to be a little bit brighter. Some white, a little bit of the vermilion that's left, primary red, and the matter rose. Is that what it was? Rose matter, M A D D E R. obviously has silicone in it. I'm going to move this one off the table. I totally forgot the red ochre, which is the rust color, and I wish I'd have put it in there because it has silicone in it and it would have been cool, but I forgot it because it was covered up. So we are just going to tilt. This is a 12 inch canvas, so it's not a huge canvas or anything like that. I'm kind of taking it to the edge and bringing it back and deciding which area I want to make the most of, you know? I have to help this along over here. And there's a big puddle of mud, so I'm basically putting the mud on the corners, but then I'm going to let it roll over that mud but just giving it some kind of a base to go over. Oh well, I lost that part of it. I think I kind of like it like that. I've got a little bit in my cup and I want to see if I put a little rose matter and a little bit of the red ochre. Maybe a little bronze. Just a little bit. Some of this gold. Yellow ochre. A little bit of white. A little bit of green. Let's see what happens if I do something here. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just having fun, 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 fun. So we're going to see what happens, and I need some gold over here on the sides. I'm just going to let it tilt off the edge of this canvas over here. Drop that canvas in the paint. It's slippery. My fingers are so messy right now, so I'm just letting it drift. So I started with a bigger ring pour and then let it just go into a small ring pour over here. Just for fun, just experimenting. I've never been very successful at tree ring pours, but I'm getting better. And I just wanted this colorful and I wanted cells, so let's heat it real quick. So we got some cells to pop up, and these red cells kind of pop through in a few places under the blue, which is fine. So I kind of like that, and I'm not even going to mess with the cells that are messing it up. I'm going to see if I can take this little shape and give it more of a circular fashion in the center. 
but like here there's some cells that came through I'm not even gonna mess with them there's a little white I want to kind of blend in right there but otherwise that's kind of neat do I dare do another one so I'm gonna put this right down in the middle of this mud pie I think I'm gonna do a swipe so I don't really don't really have much Payne's gray I'll take what's left in my cup this is Payne's gray by Creative Inspirations let's do a little bit of ultra blue deep from the bottle this would be deco art And this is similar to like Brilliant Blue and Artist Loft and those kind of colors. I'm going to use the little bit of turquoise that I have left. I'm letting it go over the sides. Do a little Deco Art Festive Green. The le what's left of this lighter green that I had mixed up, which was um, olive and oxide green from Master's Touch. So kind of like a light olive green. The gold that I have left. And I'm going to put cadmium yellow next to that. And the vermilion is almost gone. It's kind of an orange color. Some have silicone in them, some don't. So here I'm going to add, let's do the primary red. Let's do a little bit of a little streak of white, not much. And then I'm gonna do the rose matter, which is a deeper kind of purpley red. Put purple rain, which is deco art. So quite a rainbow of colors here. my fingers in some paint and rub this around because this is going to get wiped off anyway. So I've got my paper towel that's the width of the canvas. Two sheets. You know how they, they come in sheets so it's two sheets across and I'm going to take a cup of black, Artist Loft black that's mixed one to one with Floetrol making sure it goes over my edges I hadn't planned this swipe so who knows if it's going to be a success or not huh so I'm going to lay it down in the black and make sure it's laid down in it and all the way across end and just touch the edges on the end and I'm just going to let it sit for a few minutes be impatient whoops being patient is worth the wait when you're using the coconut milk because it produces larger cells and when you hit it with the, the 
peek on, which I love to do, it's going to bring up the little ones too. And I'm right now I want the big ones to pop through. So I'm just going to be patient. It is a rainbow full of colors. I'm loving it. Colors inside of colors. That's great. I always like that when that happens. Okay, I've waited about 10 minutes. I'm going to hit it with the heat gun. So I'm just blowing, and your, my head was probably in the way, but I'm just blowing, and what that does is it breaks up the surface and lets those colors pop through. And it will, even though you push it with the, the air, it will kind of settle back down too. So you can, you can kind of fill in the areas. They're just like quick little short breaths and that opens up the black and allows that color to pop through. But I'm pretty pleased with all the color. So that's pretty cool. I'm loving it. So there it is, and I kind of blew up towards the black so that the blue would kind of blend up because there's no color under that black up there. But see all those beautiful colors that pop through and hopefully they will keep their shapes and colors because I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. So I'm gonna put it right back down where it was. And like if you blow and there's no color in a spot, just take your skewer and you can drag. You can drag very lightly, like a color that you want. Just drag it, just very slightly with your skewer. And then you can fill in gaps that way too. And like here on this corner, I can even put a little color with my skewer from the table and it'll put some color in where I need it. So you can even drop in little pieces of color if you want to and they may or may not stay there but anyway it's um, very colorful. I'm very pleased. It will you know it will lay down and level out where I've puffed there's like little divots kind of in the paint so it goes kind of up and down but that'll all come back together I'm gonna say this one is done and you're maybe looking at it upside down when I put the picture at the end of the video it may re it'll be reversed probably because I like the black at the bottom typically but I'm loving 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 this this was not even a planned swipe and it was just leftover paint and look how gorgeous it is so Swipes are always a blast to do. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.